Dober Dan, Annyeonghaseyo, and Namaste. It's time for green shorts, and I'm here in the green stash. And it's been a while. We've had some family travel, uh, my daughter's graduation trip. You can see by the spider webs that it's been a minute. And honestly, I've succumbed to inertia a little bit. <laughs> I had some great momentum going. I think I did 10 weeks of videos on this project and then I got stuck. So I'm actually going to start today's video with a principle and that is to hurdle inertia. That wall is getting nice and full of principles. And I'm gonna do that by tackling a smaller project. So it's something that I can get done really quickly. Um, it will finish something up, so I'll get the gratification of that. But it'll also get me started again. I think one thing that's really easy for me in this process is to think about the whole picture. All that has to happen back here, even just to finish this building, um, it's a lot to think about and when I think about all of it it, it kind of overwhelms me and I get shut down the horde issue as a whole was overwhelming it's like we have a vision for something right as collectors of stuff and then this big old pile of stuff becomes this hurdle in the middle this barrier to accomplishing that vision so we have to hop that barrier, we have to scale that barrier in order to get into that execution phase. And to do that, at least for me, I need to focus on one thing at a time, one particular goal. I started this whole series with that in mind, so in a sense I'm kind of coming back to where I started. So today's project is just going to be finishing off the the sheathing above the window and on the outside as well but I think it's small enough that I should be able to accomplish this in an hour wish me luck I'm gonna start by framing up for a light shelf that will be part of the lower edge of the window frame the box that the window is in acts as a light shelf already. I'm gonna extend that inside another four inches. The idea behind a light shelf is that you're letting in sunlight, but you're bouncing it up onto the ceiling to then reflect down again. So you're letting the light in without as much of the heat. Yeah, so I got a new shirt that is down there in the merch. Below the video, if you have Teespring, where you live, um, it's not everywhere yet, but it's in a lot of countries, not just the United States. So you might be interested in, I see your stash is as big as mine. And I, I made this shirt for two reasons. One, I feel like a lot of you get what I'm up to here. You can identify with my particular struggle with stuff, with this pile of resources and you know of course this is the name that you all chose that we chose together the green stash garden gates open noticed this shirt in my last video props for that the second thing is it actually made me think of a movie reference i see your stash is as big as mine props to the first person who can name that movie reference in the comments I'll be watching.
I'm gonna do it in one piece. I'm gonna start by using this factory edge to square this piece up. And I know it's the factory edge because of that dashed line right there. You can already kind of see how the light shelf is going to work with the reflection on the wall over there. Now I'm actually going to trim out this window with some scrap concrete siding. It's really not what needs to be used for this, but I've got it on hand so it won't hurt to use it. It's not perfect, but I'm happy. All right, to work on the outside of the sheathing, I need to move a few things right here. Namely, the sink and then the all of that concrete siding that's stashed here. But I'm not gonna make you sit through all of that. Oh wait, there's more. Woo. Oh. I know you didn't see that, or most of it. That was some hard work. You also know I'm not afraid of a little hard work. Cleared out. I feel good about this. It's like a little rat. And there's more than one. They're cute when they're little. I definitely saw evidence of critters in the big pile here. I suppose there's probably no way around that. But as long as they're out here, they're not inside, so that's that's okay. They're all part of the ecosystem. Huh. Pretty tight space working here on the outside between the fence and my shed. So I'm going to spare you having to watch that. I'm going to do the same thing I did on the outside, of course, using the zip with the foam to finish the sheathing above the window. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished in the next video. I'm also gonna do a board and batten pattern on the outside of this wall using some more of that concrete siding. As always, thanks to my patrons for helping make these videos possible. If you'd like to join me over on Patreon, um, you get a little extra content over there and I have a Discord channel for that group. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green by doing it yourself. 
managing the resources in your hoard is green because you're taking these captured materials and turning them into something beneficial. Thanks for watching. Keep all the great comments and suggestions coming. And we'll see you next time from the green stash.